This is Extreme Miami Hotspots. You know, I've been all over the world. I've been to many places. I've seen many, many spectacular homes, but this home takes the cake. The Miami area is known for its crazy mega mansions. And we're heading to Manalapan, Florida, to a 15,000 square foot mammoth manor on the market for a cool $29 million. It stands three stories high, boasts 11 bathrooms, seven bedrooms, and indoor waterfalls. And it all sits on 1.6 acres of oceanfront property. But would you believe all this luxury is an homage to Mother Earth? That's right. We're here because this is the largest, most expensive green mansion on the planet. Welcome to Aqua Liana. There are those who might be watching thinking, is a green mansion an oxymoron? And I say no. This house has really brought that special quality of being environmentally friendly and absolutely beautiful. This house here, even though it's big, has a carbon footprint a third, for a house a third of its size. Meet Frank. Don't let the hair fool you. He's not a rock star. He actually designs and builds homes for the uber rich. Frank built his first $2.2 million spec home on the ocean in 1992, and since then has created and sold more than 35 oceanfront properties. I'm an extreme guy. I have very extreme habits and, and hobbies, and when it comes to expressing myself through this artistry, we wanted to build something that nobody had undertaken before. So Frank set out to prove that you could build big and still be environmentally responsible. Frank decided to supersize going green. Want to see it? Well, Frank's having an open house, and you'll know it's green the minute you arrive. Because the driveway's made entirely of grass, and that green ain't just its color. Unlike typical asphalt driveways that leak toxins into the ground, this grass driveway keeps the earth beneath it toxin-free. When you first pull into the gates, you come from your car and to this oasis. It's a green driveway, which is unbelievable, with fountains and the sound of the ocean and the breeze. Because what multi-million dollar mansion would be complete without swimmable water gardens and a 20-foot waterfall? The difference? These all flow 100% earth-friendly. This lush paradise keeps green using a system that collects runoff water from the roof and recycles it throughout the grounds. And we haven't even gone inside yet. Wow, beautiful. Hey guys. When you walk through that front door, you're gonna see this beautiful water floor. This transparent glass floor and Aqualiana's massive 20 foot four water windows aren't just there to wow your rich friends. And according to Frank, those water walls and glass floor actually lower the temperature of the entire house. Everything in the house can be controlled from here very simply. With the touch of a button, those 24-foot window walls turn into water walls. But this $40,000 high-tech touchpad isn't just an overpriced thermostat, because you can actually see how much energy is being used in the home in real time. Aquiliana is the most extreme green home in the world. What makes it so green is its energy efficiency. So I can hit a button called the energy monitor. Gas usage, electric usage, solar contribution. Gives you a huge awareness of how you're not actually taking from the earth, like we're all trying to give back a little bit. And you're seeing it right there. We've just stepped into the entrance of the house. I can only imagine what we're <laughs> going to see next. First thing I want to show you is this aquarium wet bar. Oh my gosh. Think the only thing green about this bar is the 200 grand spent to build it? Think again. A typical aquarium this size would use over 250 pieces of live coral mined from the ocean's floor. But at Frank's house, the coral inside the tank is made entirely of recycled plastic. Impressed? Then check out the rest of the house. 
We had to go overboard with the wood, the bamboos, the reclaimed teaks, the deck outside. Beautiful stuff, and oh, by the way, it's green. Frank ain't lying. During construction, enough reclaimed and renewable wood was used for cabinets, floors, and throughout the house to save over 10 and a half acres of actual rainforest. It sort of blows your socks off a little bit, you know? It really does. This is Extreme Miami Hotspots.